How's it going guys? It's Sal from Trim and Tuck Carpets. Uh, today we've got a review date on a tool that we've purchased from uh, America. It is the Cool Glide. The amount of hassle that I've had with this tool is unbelievable. So basically, I ordered this around two, three months ago and uh, I anticipated it was going to take time. I had a feeling it was going to take time because obviously with COVID and whatnot and coming from America, I thought, you know, it would take, probably take a month anyway to get to me. What I didn't anticipate is that it was going to come faulty. So as soon as I got the tool, uh, it was faulty. It didn't work. Back and forth with the company. They wanted me to do some electrical tests and this, that and the third and it was just confusing the matter 10 times more than, than what it really is. And obviously with buying from abroad, you've got to pay the import fees, a hefty delivery uh, charge and all of that comes with it. So it's not an easy process of just send a new one, we send it back. So going back and forth, going back and forth, I realised it never really got anywhere. So I got through to Mario from, I think, Flooring or Trading Tools Online. I'll put the link in the description. Um, uh, and he was really helpful. He managed to source someone that can repair it. And the fault that was wrong with it was that when it was manufactured, the wires was all jumbled up. So a particular wire was wired to... A certain area and a certain wire was wired to a certain area, so it just wasn't working so uh anyway that being said it's been repaired um so i'm just hoping that there's no further issues with it because i've only used tried it once and this is probably i don't really i'm not really familiar with it like maybe the boys over in america is because this is probably my third time using it and on every occasion it's just been like five minutes so I'm still very new with it. So this is all organic. I could blow this whole office up. <laughs> so um, uh, let's see how it goes. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the cool guy out of the box. And we're going to go through what it comes with. So I bought the package. So it comes with this Teflon kind of seaming board that the seam tape goes in here. This is between the two joins. So that's your carpet, that's between the two joins. The seaming tape goes in here. So as you're bringing it forward, one is keeping it even, and two, you've got a bottom base that keeps the flat surface, that your the underlay surface flat, and it should prevent any, any uh, the, the tape sticking to the underlay. But I've been told by others that have used this that apparently this kind of, bubbles up so it can interfere with the join so i don't know i gonna have to try that out so it might be an option that you scrap this and just use a bit of ply a bit of hardboard just to give it a flat surface so you lot can try that if you have one what else it comes with is this trax glue gun which i believe yeah it comes with a, it comes with the glue sticks which have this like uv kind of effect to it so when you put and it also comes with where is it this black light here which i don't have batteries in it but that will detect if you have seamed the edges of your carpet so if your carpet fails for whatever reason and an inspector comes out they can see if you've seamed it with uh, the glue sticks the glue gun has this uh, nozzle if you can see this nozzle which basically goes on the side of the carpet like so and you can just seal the edges so it's pretty cool um it comes with another little adapter and i believe that little triangle thing is just a stand if i'm not mistaken yeah that goes here and that's a stand so you can just like stand it like that so that's the glue gun. 
the glue sticks, it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten sticks. Comes with a, a light to, to, to check if your seam has been sealed. It also comes with two rolls of tape. Now, I've been reading up on what the difference is in these tapes. And if I'm not mistaken, see I've got two of these tapes and I'm going to go through it a bit more. And I've got one of these. So this is the uncoated which is the standard, I believe. And this is the premium. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is the premium. So this is the premium uncoated, and this is a standard. Now, the difference with that is the standard, if I'm not mistaken, and I've tried it already, is for carpets only. However, the premium is for carpets and engineered wood. So that's interesting. If I'm wrong, which I don't think I am, comment down below in the comments and let me know. Just so I know in the future. But the premium is for carpets and other floorings like engineered wood. And the standard, I think it's called standard, is for carpets only. So there's three tapes here. It only came with two in the bundle. But I've got an additional one from Mario. It comes with this also, the tape guide. It just seems like it's another tape guide. I believe if you want to use it on a different surface than this Teflon thing, if I'm not mistaken. It's another tape guide. So if you can see in the pictures, in the picture here, that is basically what it is. What else does it come with? And, and that's it. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a seam with the cool glide right the adapter is an american adapt like the plug is basically this it's a three pin plug and and you, you and, and and the wattage on this you can't plug this into your normal uk socket otherwise it will blow you do have to get a transformer and this transformer is a step up and a step down transformer so it's a 110 so if you can have a look at that so you have to get one of these and once again mario sells these and you can get it from other places as well so this plugs into the wall yeah and this plugs in to here yeah the thing is you can't use a normal transformer because it doesn't have this setting it doesn't have this adapter here for the actual plug to plug in so that's the reason why they have these small little transformers that are perfect for the cool blade. So what we're going to do now is I'm not going to use this because um, I'm just going to put a bit of hardboard down just to demonstrate how the cool glide works. So with that being said, let me get some hardboard. Never mind. So anyway, before I see him down, let's just say in the real world, uh, we will obviously seam the edges. So we'll plug our transformer in. Cool. 
generally, what I do is, I don't know why I do it, only because I've seen others do it, is I make sure I plug the cool glide in first and then I switch the switch on. Because I think someone told me one time we done it the other way around and it went wrong. So I get worried now. So I do it like that. I don't know if that means anything, but that's how I do it. So now the cool glide is on. Three settings, or four settings. T, which is the edges, like a T shape. Low, medium, and high. Temperatures, I believe. Yeah? So, if you press power, it will flash. It will, it will flicker. That's basically saying that it's not... It's not detecting the tape underneath it, so it won't it won't do anything. So if we put it on medium and we put it down, yeah, and we press the power, now the, the light stays on. So there should be some smoke coming out now. Because what it's doing is is it's heating up the tape underneath the carpet. Um Yeah, perfect. So then what generally what you want to do is whenever you're doing a longer seam, you want to mark. So you you should find a roll just so your your cool glide is set straight because you can't see the joints underneath. So you want to find a roll and make sure your cool glide is set straight. So when you're when you're coming down, you're following that roll. Secondly, you want to put a pen or anything on the last roll. So when you come to the end, yeah, you know where you started and where you ended. So you can follow, because you don't want to miss a bit. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna I'm gonna do T, which is what I want to do now. And I'm gonna start it. So that's done. I'm not sure if you lot can see some smoke coming out. But that join is basically done. Let me turn it around. Now there is some burning, which I'll probably get the grips of, or maybe it's just normal for you to get a few blotches here and there, but for me it doesn't seem normal. Maybe there's a, there's a technique that I'll figure out down the line. Or if anyone knows, comment down below and let me know. But that joint is done now. So, obviously I'm not focusing on the joint too much. I'm just trying to um, just demonstrate the cool glide. Let's say for argument's sake that... Oh, let me cut this. So that joint is done. Let's say for argument's sake... Have you got a pen with lead? A marker or something. Give me that marker. Let's say for argument's sake... Kids, yeah, have been alone and drawn a face on mummy's new carpet, yeah. So she's called you in and um, she wants it patched up. She's got a bit of leftovers here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut that face out. And once again, I'm not trying to make this joint perfect. Otherwise, I will be. I would have been doing it with the roll finder, roll cutter, etc. I'm just doing it for just to demonstrate how you can patch up. So there's the face. Yeah, the face was there. We've taken it out, and we're going to patch it up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out from the carpet that we've taken out from an airing cupboard for example and we're going to patch it up right oh, there's a bit of tape on that but never mind So now we've, we've, we've patched it up, we've got this, 
it'll square bit and we're going to insert it in the little patch itself okay Lovely. So what you do is you seal it up, etc, etc. So now we're going to get a bit of tape. Yeah, you will place it underneath. And obviously in the real world, you would have to place it within. You can't just lift up the card. Well, you can, but it depends on what, where, the, where the actual patch is. So now we're going to put our little piece in. Yeah, you'll dress it up, and obviously, if you was repairing a customer's patch, you you prepare the joint better than what I just done. But as I said, it is for demonstration purposes. So we put it on medium, put it on. To be honest, I think we should put it on T, I believe, because it's just that side we want to do. Well, I don't think it makes a difference. Um, and then we will start heating up the joint. I don't know if you can see the light, but the lights, it's just on, then it starts, then it goes off. That basically means the join is done. Take it off. You put your weight on it. And there you go. Now that join is seamed up, patched. It's cool, isn't it? Now, let's just say you made a mistake. Um, wrong direction just an error you've done it in the wrong direction or whatever it may be and you want to take it out now what I love about this is that you can just reheat it so let's reheat it so we've reheated it and we want to take this join out there you go Take it out, redo it, change the tape, do what you've got to do, and start again. F to me, for patchwork, seaming doorways, I think it's a game changer. Um, and I think that it can really help an installer if they have this in their, in their tools, or their arsenal, to have this in their vault of tools because it can really help them get out of trouble or it can help them help a customer that has had some spillage or anything along them lines so yeah very very good tool not sure how strong and how sturdy it is because i've only just got it and it's been faulty so i've repaired it and i'm hoping that it's going to last but generally speaking um it can get you out of some crazy trouble and it can get you to get your joint bang on so you can get your joint bang on then place the tool line on top whereas when you're working with the iron the traditional heat seam iron you've got like a few seconds to to make that work because as soon as that carpet hits that glue you can't really do anything else you might be able to manipulate it here and there but generally speaking that you only have a few seconds and you're working with it with this you just saw it put it on press play take it off if it doesn't work put it on press play again redo it I would say you could probably let's try it anyway you could probably reheat this join twice at a push because um, I don't know I think it will start the glue will start deteriorating anyway let's do it again so lights on, let's just say for argument's sake we've changed the tape, lights on, lights off, I can feel heat, obviously you put your seam weight on it, I don't have it, so I'm just putting some pressure, and there you go, seam's done, a bit of burning, because obviously we've gone over it a few times, and that's it. Yeah, it's still very hot. So it will need to dry. But I hope that helps. And if anyone's got a cool glide, 
comment down in the comments let me know what you think of it how you get along with it is it working for you what kind of jobs have you done with it because this i've just purchased it and i will be using it on seeming doorways because i feel like you can get it exactly the way you want it start it get to the end put it on the t position get the edge done perfect patchwork amazing um if you want to put a logo in the entrance of a hallway it's just so many things that this can do that that would be better than just a traditional heat scene so yeah um, i like it i'm happy with my tool i'm very unhappy that it came faulty i'm not going to say where i bought it from because I, what's the point um uh, but i'm happy with my tool and i'm hoping it lasts so until next time i hope you like this review comment like and subscribe to the channel um, and i'll see you next time trim and tuck carpets we're out